So, uh, this place has info on all of our relatives? Oh, aye. There's Fergus's father, Dirty Dingus MacDuck. <laughs> <laughs> the ghosts of Clan MacDuck loom large here. This belonged to Murdoch MacDuck, first to patent the longbow. Murdoch made a fortune selling his bows to the English army. Of course, he charged extra for the arrows. <laughs> Sir Swabhole MacDuck was obsessed with hoarding treasure. Sound familiar? So he built a mysterious series of tunnels under the castle to keep the family fortune. Some say he summoned a demon dog to stalk the catacombs. <laughs> oh, they're just stories. Maybe. Probably. Oh, and look here. Little Scroogey and Whiskers. Whiskers? Little Scroogey always wanted a dog, but we were too poor. So we all pitched in to buy a clump of hair from the local barber. Oh, how Scroogey loved his whiskers. Aye, and who ended up having to walk him and feed him? It was a ball of hair. How dare you talk about whiskers like that? He wants family. Curse me, Celts! Don't you curse in front of your mother. I'm not a child anymore. Then stop acting like one. Arm wrestling match, you and me, right now. Fergus didn't mean anything by that headlock, Scroogey. You know family means everything to him. Oh, young Scrooge. Brooding teenage Scrooge. Oh, baby Scrooge. See you at dinner. Mm. If it's family Daddy wants, it's family he'll get. That'll prove I'm worthy. Steal yourself, Webby. We are going to have a pleasant family dinner.